Welcome back to my dark corner of this sick world. Uh, same old garbage. We're watching The Green Slime, which from its alien stowaway premise... <laughs> ...to its wretched love triangle subplot... You're lying. You love me. ...is very similar to It, Terror from Beyond Space. Those people were killed by something. Making it yet another reminder that Ridley Scott's Alien really is just a B-movie made by people with actual talent. This confirms my first guess. The initial problem with Green Slime is that it takes 25 minutes to reach the point that it should have done in 10. It's alive! Can I keep it? I'll walk it every day. Nothing exciting ever happens around here. Very long story short, a team sent to blow up an asteroid... A collision course with Earth. ...using their sophisticated nipple detonator... ...brings back an unwanted guest to their space station. ...where it runs amok. He's dead. And a woman doctor is about the only original thing in the film. The animal feeds on energy. As all B-movie monsters do. God, it can heal itself. As all B-movie monsters can. And it grows from a pool of slime into a creature with lobster claws. <coughs> Tentacles. <coughs> Teddy bear eyes. <coughs> and the mobility of a tortoise that's been turned on its back. <coughs> In fairness, it is a lot more mobile once it gets up. That's what killed Michaels? I don't know. No, I'm sure these events are entirely unrelated. It's almost impossible to believe. And the rest of the movie is devoted to children in monster suits running around while everyone else screams <coughs> and pretends that the eventual solution wasn't bleeding obvious from moment one. Quite appropriately, this film is bad in very boring ways. Like the man picking up dried paint with forceps. Incidentally, that's the same man who brought the creature on board in the first place, and he might as well have dead tattooed across his forehead. We also get some of the worst camera work ever. desperately trying to cover up their inability to shoot an action scene. That's a pretty stupid mistake. But it's the characters that really open up new realms of tedium. Now, since that's the way it is, let's be sure that's the way it is, huh? There are three people in a love triangle. I ought to give a shit about at least one. Oh, no. But the girl is selfish, her fiancé sucks, and the other man with whom she is so clearly going to end up... He doesn't mean anything to me anymore is a twat of the First Order. You have an incredible ego. And it's all resolved, just like in It, Terror from Beyond Space, by the fiancé conveniently dying... <laughs> ...so his girl can get it on with his former best friend with minimal guilt. Vince. What's that you say, Vince? You want me to have your fiancé? Please do. On the plus side, the opening song is hilarious. What is the reason? Is this the end to all the future? Is it just something in your head? Will you believe it when you're dead? Green slime! Can't talk over this classic. Mission completed.